Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, we're gonna talk about a new fast. I've done 600 plus videos, and I've never talked about this fast. And the research is showing that it's incredible for weight loss. So if you are new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. I'm a woman on a mission. We're gonna get a million people here to my channel this year, learning the art of fasting. This is how we change chronic disease. So welcome, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. And those of you that share the videos, I love you guys, I love this mission, I love your passion for fasting. So thank you for being on this journey with me. Okay, alternate day fasting, what is that? For this video, the explanation of alternate day fasting is you eat whatever you want one day and you fast the next. You're just fasting every other day and then you're making food changes or you're choosing whatever food you want on the day you can eat. And the research I'm gonna show you when you approach fasting from that angle is really compelling. So first, in this study, and I'll put the link in the, in, um, the notes below, it showed that when people did the alternate day fasting style over a three month period, that they lost 13 pounds, that's about six kilos in three months, and that was in comparison to people that just did intermittent fasting. So intermittent fasting to me is 13, hour, 13 to 15 hours without food, and then you eat. So in this, what they're saying is alternate day fasting is there's a whole 24 hour plus period you're not eating, but then you eat whatever you want. And what they found is that you lost a tremendous amount of weight, more weight, when you did alternate day fasting compared to intermittent fasting, right? A lot of us have been intermittent fasting, losing weight that way, this might be the next level for you. You eat one day, you fast one day. You eat one day, you fast one day. That's the style here. So you get more weight loss. They also found that it lowered blood pressure. Well, a lot of what we're seeing about why blood pressure comes down with fasting is because of the changes to the microbiome. I've done videos on that, so go watch the videos on can fasting lower blood pressure. You also are, it's better for insulin resistance. So if you watch the video where I talked about all the foods you should avoid to get yourself out of insulin resistance, to help your fasting experience, and you were like, oh my God, I'm doing all those foods, then you're gonna wanna do more alternate day fasting so that we can kick you out of insulin resistance. And then of course, autophagy, when you're doing these alternate day fasts, you are deepening the cellular cleaning that's happening inside your cells. So three month period, we saw blood pressure went down, insulin resistance overcame insulin resistance, better weight loss and better cellular cleaning every other day for three months. Okay, how do you do this fast? What do you need to know? It's as simple as I said, one day you're not eating, next day you eat whatever you want. And a lot of studies done on this particular style of fasting show that you will start to change the way you, you approach food, the cravings you have. So it's literally feast one day, fast the next. Feast, fast. Okay, is there a downside? Well, this study showed that it long-term, it was a harder path to weight loss as far as willpower, because with calorie restriction, you're at least eating something, but on the days you're not eating, it can be a little more difficult because you're not eating. You're just drinking tea, coffee, and water, um, but you're not eating, so they showed that 38% of the people that did alternate day fasting dropped out of their study as compared to 29% of the people that just did calorie restriction. So it's a little bit harder. Okay. But, but the results are so good. The results are so compelling. Why would we not want to do this? And so how long would it take to overcome the hard? And you can do hard, by the way. We all can do hard. But how long was it going to take to overcome the hard? And this study tells us it took 10 days of this every other day, alternate day uh, fasting, to be able for hunger to come down, for cravings to go away, and for the people in the study to start to get the groove with fasting. 
Remember the study was done on people in a three month time period. And so what they're saying is if you just hang in there for 10 days doing this alternate day fasting strategy, you're gonna get all those benefits I talked about, plus the hunger is gonna go away, your food choices will change, and you will start to get the groove of this alternate day fasting. So all this week I've been talking about fasts that will really go after burning fat. I like these longer fasts to do that. I love the 36 hour fast to help you burn more fat. I also really like what research is showing us about this alternate day fasting. One day you feast, one day you fast. So let me know if this is your style of fasting. I know we got a lot of fasters here, so let me know if this is how you like to fast and what kind of weight loss you've, you've had with these results. I'm gonna put the study in the notes for those of you that are the science geeks. And as always, we are launching a fat burner reset. I'm gonna be guiding my community through a 15 day experience where I will teach you how to use the tools of fasting and how to use the, the, the tools of refeeding and food and exercise. We dive into exercise in the fat burning reset so that you can finally lose weight for good. For good, like that, this is, we gotta end this obesity epidemic now. We gotta end chronic disease. Now is the time and fasting is the way out. So join me for the Fat Burner Reset. Just put Fat Burner Reset in your comments and we will send you a link. But alternate day fasting, there you go. Let's give it a try. As always, I hope that helps. <music>